Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Linda and today I'm going to show you how to make a tart au soleil. This is a great pastry puff appetizer and this is great to take to a family function. You could even make this for the holidays but it's really easy to make so let's get started. Okay, so this is the pastry puff that I bought from my local supermarket, and I bought it at a Food Max. We have a Safeway in our area as well, and there's a Trader Joe's that you can find their brand at. So let's take it out of the package. Cut that off and. It has two pastry puffs in this package and they come frozen and this is what it looks like. You want to keep it in your freezer until you're ready to start. I took it out about five minutes prior to, five to ten minutes. I'm going to set this one aside and they're pretty small but we're going to work on making it larger but we're going to take some all-purpose flour and we're going to spread it down on our counter and just kind of move it around. Take your dough and lay it on your flour. I'm going to sprinkle some flour on top too as well so it doesn't stick to my rolling pin. I'm going to smooth it out and press the center where the creases are so it doesn't tear on me. Okay, I'm going to take my rolling pin. I'm just going to gently roll, gently roll the dough, turn it every now and then and just press it. You don't want to press it too hard. You just want enough to make the dough larger because we're going to fit a large dinner plate over this. So you just kind of want to roll it out gently. Turn it around. Okay, this looks good now. It's nice and large. Let's take that large dinner plate and let's place it on top of our dough. You want to take a knife so, and you want to just cut all the way around. You want to press through enough to cut through the dough. Just like this. Just take that excess dough and set it aside. You can make some extra pastries with that. And there you have it. Your round pastry puff dough. I'm going to take it and place it on my lined pan. I'm using a pizza pan. Um, you can use whatever pan you want to use, but today I decided to use my pizza pan. So I'm going to set that aside. Take my other pastry dough, sprinkle some flour, I'm just going to lay that right on top of my flour. Place some more flour on top. I 
I just don't want my dough to stick to my rolling pin. It is um, softer than it was when we first started, but it's still good for me to start. I'm just gonna roll it out. Like I said, I'm lightly, gently pressing on the dough. I don't wanna squeeze it too tight or too hard. I don't wanna make it too thin. I just want enough to place a large dinner plate right on top. I just want to keep rolling it out. And spread that dough. I want to make it wide. This doesn't take very long. Just gonna add a little bit more flour on top. My dough seems to be doing okay right now, so I'm not gonna put it in the freezer but you might want to check yours to see. So just set the dinner plate down. Take your knife and just cut all the way around. And just take your excess dough and set it aside. And there you have it. It really is easy. So just take that dough, place it on your platter. Okay, let's take your dough. And I'm gonna be using cilantro pesto. I bought this at my local farmer's market. Hope that didn't bother your ears. Okay, let's take a generous amount of pesto and just place it in the center. You just wanna kinda just take your spoon And you want to spread it towards the end, away from the center. And you want to spread it and leave about an inch around the rim. Somewhere about an inch. You don't want it to come seeping out of the edge when you um, place it in the oven. My, my pesto is, is kind of thick, more thicker than normal pesto, but that's okay. I'm, I'm just experimenting today. I'm going to an event tonight, so I want to try this pesto along with a, a sweet sauce to go on top of it. So I kind of get that savory and then that sweetness, that kick of sweetness along with it. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos and give it a thumbs up if you like this one. And right on the right hand corner is that little bell. Click on that bell until it says all notifications. Okay, this looks good. Okay, I'm gonna add some garlic salt to this because it doesn't have much salt flavor to it. So I want to have a little 
just a little kick to it and I love my Lowry seasoning salt. It's one of my favorite. Lowry has some great seasonings. Just so you know, I'm not being paid by Lowry. This is not an advertisement. I just love this product. Okay, this is sweet jalapeno sauce. This is from my farmer's market in my area. And I really love this stuff. And I think it'll go well together with this pesto. I'm just going to place a small, thin layer over this pesto. Just enough so you can taste it. You really can use whatever sauce you want to use. Um, for the holidays, you can make a chocolate Hershey's um, tart or a hazelnut tart, which would be great for breakfast. So this is pretty much it. We're going to take the top layer and we're just going to place it on top. Now you can use a rolling pin for this to make it much easier. I chose to do it by hand. And I'm a little off. Oops, see, this is why you should probably use a rolling pin. But that's okay. So you just want to kind of try to get it as centered as, as possible. And if it doesn't work for you, just kind of like pull it to the edge. Somewhat like this. You want to press it down a little bit. You don't want to press too tight or too heavy, you just want to gently press. Remember, it's a pastry puff, so it's going to puff. Okay, I'm just pressing just a little bit on the sides. Okay, so next you want to take this large, well, small size glass, orange juice glass, and you want to place it in the center and lightly press it. You want to get that little crease on top. See that? That's what you're looking for. You want to take your knife and you want to cut a line in the center of the wheel and you want to go to the top and you want to cut again make a straight line so what we're looking for is we're going to do quarters a quarter cut now we're looking like a cross kind of like a clock You just want to cut through and then you want to take the knife and you want to cut quarters inside the quarters. So cut that in half. You want to repeat this all the way around. I'm just cutting in the center of the quarter. And then I'm going to repeat this again and I'm going to cut in the center of the others. So now that that's done, I'm going to cut again. And then it'll start to look like a sun. You want to make sure that you cut through the dough. 
Now you can see that my pasta pesto, uh, my pesto sauce is thicker than normal sauces, so you'll see it. So we're just going to see how it turns out. Just cut all the way around. You want to make sure that it's not stuck together. So if it is stuck, you want to take your knife again and you want to cut again just to make sure all those edges are really um, cut through so that you can take your piece and you could twist it. So I'm just going to take the knife again and I'm going to run it across each line. You may not have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and, and run my knife through the lines again. Once again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so let's take a piece. If your dough is soft or too soft, you can place it in the um, freezer at this point and let it freeze for about 10 to 15 minutes. But mine's okay, so I'm going to do one, two twists and lay it flat. So you want to do this all the way around. Take it once and take it twice. Don't be afraid, it's not hard at all. It's really easy. This is a really easy appetizer and I'm really looking forward to trying this tonight and I'm sure that my guests will like it as well. Now, if I had time, I would have made me the dessert one with the chocolate Hershey's because that looks really good. So it's starting to look like a sun. Just keep twisting it. How's your day going today? Are you having good weather? Our weather here is in the two digits, 90 degree temperature, but it's okay. I'm staying cool in my air conditioning home. So that's about it. That looks great. I'm gonna press the sides a little bit. And here we have it. Just like that. Now we're going to do the egg wash. So let's get the egg cracked in our little jar. And then get a fork. Stir that around really well. Now at this point, you can check your dough once again. If it needs to be put in the freezer, go ahead and put it in the freezer. But I believe that mine's okay right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and place the egg wash right on top. Just want to get it all over. It's going to be this nice, deep, golden color. It'll have some browns on it. Now you can, um, while it's in the oven, you can keep an eye on it. If you don't want it too brown, you can pull it out sooner. But this will bake between 12 to 20 minutes. More so um, between 15 and 20. So I'm going to use some sesame seeds and I'm going to place that in the center to give it a really pretty design. And that's it. There you have it. So let's place it in the oven. 400 degree temperature. And place it in the center. 
and now we'll wait and there it is look at that look how beautiful that is nice golden brown I can't wait to taste this delicious well thank you so much for sticking by and watching my video and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that little bell on the right hand corner. Click on it until it says all notifications. It has to say the all if you want to see all of my videos. But you have a wonderful day and God bless. Peace out.